2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Northwest Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. I'm Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player starts their round in the lead. What's the game plan for them today? Well, you always have to love somebody who's got a big, fat lead in their chances. But listen, there's only one way to go, and that's straight down. So let's hope that Johnny Miller doesn't pop up out of nowhere and start yelling, joke at him, because that would be disastrous. Well, it's all promising to be a good day. Can't wait to see what happens. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. And Henny, what's he looking at here? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. All right, we're going with an extra club here. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Just six feet between here and the hole. Well, that's a lovely way to get going. They've already started this event under par. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Currently in first position. looking to ride the momentum after coming off a birdie here with this shot. That should find the fairway. Lining up from around 160 yards. Going with the eight iron here. This one might need to get down a little. Not a bad play, that one. A birdie putter waits. Ouch, that hurts. Just a four footer remaining. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. And staying right where they were in today's rankings after that. Here we are at the third. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's a good looking shot there. And he's down there. You got a read? This one's 13 feet from the cup. Looking really good, this one. That will drop and it will extend the lead. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. In good form, birdie at the last, looking to add on to that. And the effort, that one. Playing up to an elevated green here. Oh, 
Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. That one just slides by. High quality shot, that one, right next to the hole. And in definite range for birdie. And they'll tap this in for birdie. Well, what a start. This is impressive. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. That is absolutely spot on. Second shot here on the fifth. They're looking to get this one close in hopes of saving par. Now that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. I need to see this again because I still can't believe they hold that. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Welcome to the tee at this par five hole. Luke, I gotta say though, for the big hitters that are not afraid to challenge that stream going down the left hand side, they could reduce this to almost nothing. This fairway is firm and fast and that golf ball will chase out forever. You must avoid the bunkers down the right-hand side, though, if you've got any chance or any hope of going for this green in two. Coming up just a little bit shy of the green is actually a good leave. Leaves a simple pitch shot to a very long and slightly undulating green. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. I tell you what, what a sensational play. This player stepped up their game, a bold play, hopefully a bold reward. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Still in the lead now after that hole. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. Opting for the three wood. Nicely played. Oh, 13 footer coming up here. It's got a chance. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And now 
Now that finds him in first place. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Well, this should find the short grass. Opting for the five wood. Needs this one to kick right. Now that looked pretty good the whole way. Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. Get in the hole. Yes, they've made it. Oh, that was a touch of class. I wouldn't mind seeing that again. They got their putting boots on here. Look at how this ball rolls end to end. A thing of beauty. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. Nicely done. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Well, I wouldn't mind hitting the shot, but I wouldn't fancy the walk up here. This is quite uphill. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Well done. Take the Birdie. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Now a par five hole awaits. 526 yards from the back tee. Players will be feasting on this hole. They're going to take that bunker down the right-hand side, out of play, go ahead and bomb it down there, find the fairway, leave yourself somewhere with a five, six, even seven iron for the bigger hitters. Obviously, you have to avoid getting too aggressive with that second shot and dumping it in the water. So a lot of second shots here will be left out to the right-hand side, and hopefully players will get it up and down. Oh, absolutely flushed. Taking aim from around 240 yards out here. This one looks just a fraction too long to me. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. So exciting to have an eagle putt here. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. 
What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Currently in first position. Teeing off here at the 11th. No harm, no foul there with that shot. And he's down there. Yeah, he's looking at maybe a little over 130 to the pin. Yeah, that one will play. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Just got to use the touch of a feather. Barely has to blow on it. This is just downhill. Surely it's going to... Yeah, you like the look of that right off the blade. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Now on the tee after a birdie, fired up and ready for more. Opting for the five iron. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Lining up the birdie putt here. If that's the right pace, this should drop. That's one of those punts that you're proud of at the end of a round. They all add up. Why not take another look at that effort? What an amazing putt from way out. sits in first position. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Seems to have got a big piece of that one, striped. Taking aim from about 180 yards here. This green sits well above them. An extra club is required. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Wonderfully played. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, they've left it in the perfect spot here, just below the hole. They can be aggressive up the hill. Looking really good. He's on a good line. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Still in the lead now after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Wow, that was just striped. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Going with the seven. Oh, come on, sit.
That should set up another chance. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par now. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Opting for the nine iron. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. The seven-footer right here. Good-looking putt. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. We have a short par four ahead of us here. Only the biggest hitters, unless it's a prevailing win, will be able to go for this green and one. A lot of players, however, Luke, will still take out the driver and try and get it as down there and to the right as far as possible to set up a very easy, simple pitch shot. I'm looking at this as a guaranteed birdie if you want to win this tournament. Quality shot, that one. Second shot here on the 16th. That was wonderfully done. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. <laughs> Looks like they've got the five wood. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. And Henny, what are they looking at here? He's got 10 feet here. I think he likes it. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. He's currently sitting in first place. Let's head to the final hole of this round. Oh, that was mashed. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Two big hits there, knocking it on this par five and two. Setting up miles from the hole.
Oh, that's frustrating. That'll sting a bit. This putt's about four feet from the hole. And that signs off on...